Hey everybody, this is Henry here with a Wooden Railway review on the 1994 Henry. So I wasn't really plan on, planning on doing a review right now, or on the side for that matter, but I, like, I was actually planning on doing a, uh, my next Railway Series episode right now, but the engine that I ordered off of eBay, which I need for it, Still hasn't came yet, so I decided to keep you guys occupied. I'd review this item. Now I wasn't planning planning on reviewing this item, but there's one thing that that I think makes this review worthy, or like something I want to talk about a little bit. And if it weren't for this one thing, I probably wouldn't be reviewing it. So, anyways, I got this I got this Henry off of eBay for twenty four dollars, and uh, the, the, pretty much the only reason I got it was so then I could film Cole, Cole, and the Flying Kipper Railway Series episodes. It's because I wanted to use an old style Henry as, as Henry's old shape, which I think was kind of clever, and I'm kind of surprised that no one's ever done that before, really. So, anyways, I'll show you guys the model. So, this is one of the things, these are, okay, so... Here's the face, and as I try and focus in, uh, this is, I think this is a very classic Henry face. I do like it better than, like, this is, like, my favorite face, like, even though it won't focus, but this is my favorite Henry face that there is, and as I try to focus, it just focuses out. So, here is a side. Uh, this is pretty much my least favorite um, thing about this model, the boiler. They should, in my opinion, I think they should have used like Gordon size, a Gordon size boiler. It just like this kind of boiler, like that they used for James and Thomas and Edward back in the day. It just doesn't fit right for Henry, really. But anyway, on the back you got the ledge or the widow's peak, whatever you like to call it. Then on the top. You got the cab and everything on the bottom. No name. And then here is the tender. You got speckled coal. And it's a, and it's and this tender's inaccurate because it has because it's like the flower tender. It's not like the tender that, that Henry it's not the right shape of tender that Henry has. Which is another thing I didn't really like about the old style Henry. And on the bottom, no name. Now, in my opinion, Henry is one of the items where I prefer the new style over the old style. Now, like, I pro I'll probably get a lot of hate for saying that, but the reasons why is because, like, the old, yes, the old style Henry has a nostalgic charm to it, but other than that, that's pretty much it for me. Like, it, it, it just doesn't seem like Henry to me. I mean, like the boiler is out of proportion. The tender isn't even accurate, and and in my opinion, the the funnel's just way too tall. Like it, it like you should have the same shape as Gordon, really. It, other than the smoke box, I like the I like the smoke box shape. That's nice. But other than that, it, it should have had the same shape as Gordon, and like. A bunch of people don't like the the new style Henry, like the 2002 Learning Curve Henry. But it, in my opinion, I like it better because, like, that's what I grew up with, obviously. And then it's just more accurate. It has the say, it has the um a proportionate shape, and it has the um inaccurate looking tender. So, anyway. Uh, the reason why I wanted to review this item is because on eBay it was listed as a 1992 item, and when I first got it, when I when it first came, I I actually thought it was a 1992 item, and the reason why is because as you can see here, there are no dates on the wheels, and like no dates on the wheels, like usually means it's a 92 item, but. But as but I talked with some of my friends about it, and they say then they said that there are many ninety four items that have um, undated wheels, and those and those 
94 items are like really early 94 items. So, and how I can tell is um, there's a difference between 92 and 94 magnets. And this, I can tell, is a 94 magnet. Like, it's just better shaped. Like, it's, like it's ju it just has a better shape to it than, uh, than like, the 92 items. And for, for some reason, my phone does not want to focus today. But... Yeah, it has a better shape magnet. And then, like on 92 items, the bottoms are stapled. But on here, there's no there's no staples, nothing. And as you can see here, the wheels are, again, undated. And then you can see here the the magnets are, not, are like 94 magnets. So, like, I'd say that this is a pretty rare item because... Not very many 94 items have undated wheels, and and these are like really er, early 94 models, really. So, uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool story on my Henry. When I like, it is a 94 Henry. Like I know for a fact now because of the no staples and the 94 magnets. Like you know, so should you get a 94 Henry? Well. Or any old style Henry. Really, honestly, if you already have like a new style Henry or like a or like a, a Mattel Henry, there really is no point. Or let unless if you're like me and and wanna like make make the old style like if you're making a remake or something about the flying kipper or cool and you want to have um like an old old shape Henry look different from the new shape Henry like I did then yeah it, um go for it go for a good price like for an old style Henry I say don't go any higher than like twenty dollars or something but uh that that's pretty much it so this is Henry signing out please like and subscribe for more reviews like this and other Thomas Wooden Railway content and as always thank you for watching